Again, swags, extra fuel, all the good stuff. So um, our plan is we've launched at Urangan, which is up at Harvey Bay, and we're just gonna hit the inside of Fraser for a couple of days. We're gonna be camping at Wathumba Creek. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna uh, punch there now and then set up camp, you know, just do our thing. We don't have much of a plan as always. We're just gonna sort of go with the weather, see what we're really feeling. Um, but as always, we're gonna bring you along with us, so stay tuned and we're gonna get straight into it. So we've just made a bit of a detour on our way um, up to a Thumba. We've actually met up with our cousin Jesse. He's from around here, so um, we're just having a bit of a catch up and a bit of a fish with him for a while. He's shown us a few spots that um, we can retreat back to if it goes in pear shape up there, but just doing a bit of stick in. Um, I'm gonna fish the bottom with plastics. And just see how we go. There she goes. Absolutely incredible. So sick. Um, so yeah, we're probably another 15 from the creek. Just gonna fully set up the boat, pack up the boat and just punch there. Hopefully set up before dark, but we just had to stop and get this, it's actually it's blowing our minds. It's unreal. It's unreal. It's nothing like home. It's just, it's just so good. Crystal clear. Big storm there. Cracking sunset. And this clown. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see him crank? We got more than fucking fire. <laughs> we got lamb steaks. Jeez. Yeah, grab that oil out of that other one. Are you serious right now? Alrighty, so um, we've had a bit of change of plans rather than camping in the creek tonight. Uh, we just pulled up in a nice clear spot. It kept, like the clouds kept building up right over the top of the creek and the last thing we wanted to do was get wet. 
So Eli's up the front on the cooker. Got some good old lamb shanks. Lamb um, steaks. Lamb babe. steaks, actually. So they're going to be delicious. And yeah, we're probably just going to crash here for the night. We're going to put a crab pot out right behind the boat and also chuck a shark rod out. Just who knows what could happen just for a bit of fun. Um, so yeah, we'll keep you posted. We got a shark on. Holy shit. <laughs> are we going to have to chase this? We are too. Is that locked up? No. That's better. <laughs> is it solid? It is so heavy. <laughs> You're <all> kidding. <laughs> This is wild. I didn't think we were going to get one here, eh? It's fucking shallow. <laughs> You're in your jocks. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, eh? I was, I was about to fall asleep. Same. It took so long to dawn on me what it was. You, I was like, I was straight on my feet. I was like, yeah, dog, we are on. I heard that drag going on. Yeah. Yeah, we got a shark, bro. He's not far off here. I know. That's what I mean. Look, he's just, he's just here. Yeah. Yeah, I can see him now. Oh, bro. He's got to be big. Oh, look at this thing. Don't get, don't wrap, put, don't put your hands on that wire. He's at least eight foot A. Look at that mouth. Oh, are you kidding? How are we getting this out of him, Bobby? Just get them pliers. Here he goes. Holy shit, he was big. There he is. That was so cool. That was so sick. So it just it just all happened at once. We were pretty much in bed. I was about to fall asleep. Eli was up the front, about to fall asleep, and the shark reel just started screaming. So we obviously picked it up and we fought it. And you would have seen what it was. It would have, what was it like a Eight seven foot, and half, seven eight and a half. Um, it was a bronzy, eh? Bronzy, yeah. yeah. We think it was a bronzy. Um, if we're wrong, feel free to call us out on it, but that was honestly so sick. All tucked in. Um, so yeah, we'll see you first thing in the morning. Look how nice it is. Three metre viz. <laughs> Three metre viz. You can see every grain of sand. This is actually epic. I'm just getting dressed. Eli's making his bed. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so yeah, we'll just sort the boat out, fold the tarp up. Pretty much saved this last night from getting wet at all. There's only a little shower, but still. Um, and then yeah, we'll cook a bit of brekkie and then get straight into it. We got pretty much 14 hours of daylight to do as much as we can and film as much as we can and just do epic shit. So it's going to be sick. I can't wait. You only have three weedies, mate. Mate, I'm no Brett Lee. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Pine wheat mix ain't too bad. Abdul Rahim, to so send your message. Me. No, Robert's oh. brother.
Great success. Very nice, sir. Go, 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 go. Good start in the morning, Robbie. It's the biggest Mac tuna I've ever seen. <laughs> Is it Mac? It's it could be Mac. long. It's, oh, it's a Mac. It's a big old Mac tuna. Mac tuna! Get dog. Above 
There will be time when my heart's ready for you. Oh, it wasn't bad. It's been twisted up like wicker and pulled apart like straw. Left out for seasons to freeze and to thaw. I'm burning for you now, I believe it's had enough. But there will be a time when my heart's ready for you, love. Oh, yes! Oh, no! Go again! I held my breath and turned away from you last night. 